Hey there, Lindsay Bowden here, and in this video, I want to talk about dilations. Dilations are one of the four transformations, and it's the only non-rigid transformation, which means it does not keep the shape congruent. In fact, dilations create similar figures, meaning they're the same shape, but different sizes. So a dilation stretches or shrinks a figure. In this video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on scale factor, graphing, and more. So let's get started. In the first example, I want to dilate the figure with a center of dilation at the origin, which is 0, 0, and a scale factor of 2. When the center of dilation is the origin, you want to start by listing out your coordinates. So I have R and S already written over here. And then you multiply each coordinate by the scale factor, which is 2. So for R prime, I'm going to multiply 0 times 2, which is 0, and 3 times 2, which is 6. For S prime, I'm going to multiply 2 times 2, which is 4, and 0 times 2, which is 0. And then you want to plot your new points. So 0, 6, and then 4, 0. And I'm going to use a ruler to connect. There you go. Another method that you could use is just to count from the origin and double your counts. So what I mean is if I start at 0, 0 and I want to go to R, that would be up 1, 2, 3. I want to double that because my scale factor is 2, so I would double 3, which is 6. Go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In my next example, I want to dilate this triangle with a center of dilation at the origin and a scale factor of 1 half. So I'm going to start the same way. I listed out my coordinates for the triangle, and then I'm going to multiply all of my coordinates by my scale factor, which is 1 half. So for D prime, I'm going to multiply negative 6 times 1 half, which is negative 3, and then 2 times 1 half, which is 1. Same thing for E. 8 times 1 half, which is 4. 4 times 1 half, which is 2. When you multiply by 1 half, really you're just dividing by 2. That's the same thing. 6 times 1 half, which is 3. Negative 4 times 1 half, which is negative 2. Notice the signs never change. Only the numbers change. The signs will remain the same. And then you plot them. So negative 1, 2, 3, 1. 4, 2. And then 3, negative 2. And notice, because my scale factor is less than 1, my triangle got smaller. It got half the size of my original triangle. In this example, I want to dilate the triangle with a center of dilation at 2, 3, and a scale factor of 2. So this example is different because the center of dilation is not 0, 0. So the first thing that you want to do is plot the center of dilation, and I like to use a color that way I know that's the center of dilation throughout the entire problem. And I even write center beside it to remind myself. So when the center of dilation is not 0, 0, you're not worried about the coordinates. You're worried about the distance from the center. So you want to count from the center to each point. I'm going to start with D. And I'm going to count from my center to D. So I'm going to go left 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and down one, two, three, four. And notice I use arrows so I can remember which direction that I went. For E, same thing. I'm going to go left three, down four. For F, I'm going to go left four, down one, two, three, four, five, six. To get your new points, your image points, you're going to multiply each of the counts by the scale factor, which is 2. So for D prime, I'm going to go left 10 and down 8. For E prime, left 6, down 8. For F prime, left 8, down 12. All right, so I'm going to go back to my center. This is important. Always count from your center. Do not count from these points, count from your center. I'm going to go left 10 and down 8. For 
All right, same thing for E prime. I'm going to go left six and down eight. All right, another method that you can use is use your original figure and you just want to double the distance. So right here from D to F, it was right one down two. So I need to go right two and down four. That might save you some time when you're finishing out your shape. And then just connect your points. In this example, I want to find the center of dilation and the scale factor. So to find the center of dilation, you can take a ruler and you can draw lines that connect corresponding points. So K and K prime, J and J prime, L and L prime. So I'm going to start with K. You want to make sure your line is really straight and you want to go all the way across your graph, your coordinate plane. And then I'm going to do the same thing with J. And you really only have to do two lines, but if you want to do the third, you can. This one's not going to be much different because J and L are pretty close together. But And where the lines meet is your center of dilation. So my lines meet here. That's my center of dilation, which would be negative 10, 1. For your scale factor, you want to count from the center of dilation to two corresponding points. So I'm going to count from my center to K and then from my center to K prime. So from my center to K is right, one, two, three, four, and up two. From my center to K prime is right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then up one, two, three, four, five, six. So what you want to ask yourself is, first of all, did my shape get bigger or smaller? You can tell here it got bigger. That means your scale factor has to be greater than one. Then you want to ask yourself, what could I multiply by to get from four to 12 or from two to six? So four times what number gives me 12? And that would, of course, be 3. So my scale factor for this problem is 3.